Hello everyone, we have such a fun project for you today. We are transforming these ordinary green metal cafe chairs to make them more unique for your home. To start out, we wanted to create a really vintage mismatch type of look for our chairs, so we chose three different transfers to pull from. We are using the IOD Bungalow Transfer, and for the other chairs, the IOD Ephemeral Melange Transfer and the IOD Seed Catalog Transfer. Take your transfer sheet and keep the backing on so you can rub along the line of the chair and create a crease. This allows you to cut the proper shape so there isn't any overlap with your transfer. To prep these chairs, all we did was wipe them down with a wipey or a wet paper towel. You don't need to sand the chair. All you need to do is make sure the transfer is being applied to a clean surface. Use your applicator tool and get into the grooves and ridges. If there's some cracking in the indents, don't worry about it. Just make sure there's good contact and we'll add more distress later to hide any imperfections. Don't be afraid to cut up your transfer to fill up the space the way you would like it. If your transfer has text, you can cut around it and you can create sort of your own composition depending on where there is more or less negative space on the surface of the chair. Make sure you take your time lining up the transfer with the surface of the chair because once you commit, it will be very difficult to reposition the design. For more tips on applying a transfer, head to our IOD Transfer 101 on our YouTube channel or on ironorchidesigns.com. These chairs are linked down in the description below if you want to buy the exact same ones. But as you can see, they have uh, two grooves in the center of that panel. So make sure you use your applicator tool and make sure the transfer is stuck into the grooves so that there is no lifting later on. A little tip is to burnish with the smooth side of your gridded sheet to make sure all of your transfer has adhered properly and repeat for all of the other chairs. Even though the transfers add so much uniqueness already to these chairs, a little fun detail that makes all the difference is to add fake rust using chalk paint. You can use whatever paint you would like, get with your local stockist to figure out what brand and kind is best for you. But we created a paint mix using chalk paints. We used about half of warm brown, one quarter orange, one quarter deep yellow, mixed it all up to create this perfect rust color. Make sure you trust the process. For the crevices, we used an artist brush and then followed up with a chippy paintbrush. You want to use a stippling motion to really get that rusty texture. Just keep working and blending until you achieve the look that you want. Make sure to pay special attention to the screws since they are metal. Naturally, rust would be all over the silver metal. What really helped us in this process is to look up pictures online of chairs, metal chairs that have been sitting outside so that you can see where rust would naturally accumulate. And we found out that it normally accumulates in crevices where there's indents and where there are metal screws or bolts. The great thing about using chalk paint, if that's what you're using for this project, is that the chalk paint is really easy to sort of distress on this metal surface. So we used a chippy brush so that the rust would look more natural. You can even get a paper towel and chip some off so that it gives it that natural look as well. You can use different brushes to achieve different textures. We used a chip brush to paint the rust since it adds more of a vintage texture to the chair and followed that by using a round thick brush to distress the rust we just painted on even more. 
If you apply paint in a way that you don't like looking at it later on, you can wipe it off with water if you are using chalk paint and reapply once dry. Don't get too caught up on being perfect. That is the beauty of distressing. Imperfect is perfect. Our technique for the legs of the chair was to use the chip brush and dab on the paint where the surface is raised. According to our reference photos of chairs with real rust, the rust accumulated in crevices and on raised surfaces. Our next design comes from the IOD seed catalog transfer. We chose these transfers because we wanted an outside garden theme. Of course, these chairs shouldn't be kept outside for long-term periods of time since the transfer would be at risk of fading, but even when kept inside, the garden with rust theme adds all the more vintage aesthetic to your home. Go ahead and use the dull edge of your scissors to create a crease in the transfer paper to guide you on where to cut and how to shape the transfer being applied. With this particular transfer, we wanted to incorporate all of our favorite details by making them fit on the limited surface area that we have. To do this, you can just cut out your favorite details of the designs very carefully, make sure you do it along the border of the flowers or the specific design of your transfer, if you are cutting around words, be sure the area bordering is blank or you could risk accidentally cutting a word or phrase short. For our third transfer, we pulled this design from the IOD seed catalog transfer. We love how the vibrant red and pink colors really pop against the green chair. Since red and green are complementary, meaning they're opposite on the color wheel, the combination of the two pair together wonderfully and add all the more to the final look. If you begin to see your transfer has not adhered to the surface when peeling the paper back, lay the grid back down and take your applicator tool to go over it with more pressure. Continuously check until it has adhered, being sure not to peel any of the design with the grid paper. Once all of your chairs have rust and their transfers, it's time to put some turquoise chalk paint onto a paper plate and use your brayer tool to roll the paint onto a chippy vintage texture stamp set. When it comes to placement for the blue chippy chalk paint, you can kind of follow your heart. It doesn't really matter precisely where this goes because it is more of an all over look. As mentioned before, these chairs are meant to be kept indoors because the transfer will fade if left out in the sun and rainy weather conditions will wear the paint off even with the top coat. With that being said, we used an indoor sealer called General Finishes Flat Out Flat. You can use any indoor sealer that works best for you. Use our stockist locator tab on our ironorchidesigns.com website to find a local stockist to help you choose. Once the sealant has dried, you now have these three amazing, beautiful, unique, naturally rusted, vintage 
metal cafe chairs that you can keep in your home for just a little extra pop to your interior design. Make sure you like and subscribe for more DIY tutorials.